Hello, Air Tribe. Welcome to your weekly oracle messages. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. Until the end of the month, I still have January special tarot offer at the sales price available, which is called Seeds. Uh, and if you would like to know more details about that or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Air Tribe, I do feel like um, it's a very positive time and week. Uh, very prosperous, but it depends or it requires on a certain step, on a certain decision that you're being called to make, that it's going to be, in a way, it's going to prove, uh, prove you're right or prove something to be right, something that maybe your instinct is telling you or trying to guide you towards. So definitely, this is a time period to take um, decisions especially those that are, again, made out of a strong gut feeling. Uh, and I feel like this is exactly your, both your challenge and your opportunity is to listen to that instinctual guidance and to take a risk because what this seems is that it's like a shot in the dark energy. As the common energy you have is a uh, crossroads, a crossroads energy. And I'm picking that for you air signs. Uh, this has to deal a lot with your ability to take risks, to be a little bit more, you know, willing, right, to uh, do things uh, that, you know, are not certain, are not, you know, where you don't have 100% guarantees, but that you have a strong urge and calling. Something is calling you to make certain or to take certain actions or to say certain things, to do certain things. And I feel like for some of you, it's on point. It's the right thing to do. But, um, you know, the mind might be interfering. There might be a sense of uh, some of you being torn here or at the cross. Um, so th certain options that you want to take, they are in contradiction to other things you have going on in your life. And maybe some of you don't know how to easily overcome this conflict this contradiction or to make choices that you know might put at jeopardy or at risk other things that you also value and have in a way an attachment to so i also feel like for some of you are signs this has to do a lot with uh the past versus the future and where you stand right now so some of you could have an old way versus a new way let's say you could have the familiar way, which is usually represented by the past energy. There's the familiar way. There's the way that you have always, you know, the path that was always traveled by you. And there's the path, uh, you know, that you have not ever been in. Some of you need to understand where is your heart, where is your soul, where is your, you know, desire, where... You know, what's driven your desires, actually? Is it um, the security-based uh, options or uh, ones that are new and that can bring something else to add to your life for air signs that have been feeling, in a way, stuck or bored or dull or filled with apathy or just not able to find a lot of, you know... A lot to, you know, be, in, be involved with. I feel like that's those are clear, you know, hints that maybe you are in a desperate need to do something else because I also feel like there's this sense of desperate in a way where some of you, um, for some, this is only a message for only some of you, but some of you are signs, it's like uh, living like... Uh, like a zombie, you know, the zombie energy is showing up here, but it's like, when I say this, it's like, there's uh, this lack of life, right, this lack of lively energy, this lack of interest, this lack of the blood flowing, the circulation, the, you know, the, again, the, the, the very primal passion has not been um, working through you, and maybe there's an option that 
you know, is triggering that lively response or the opportunity for you to be a part or involved in something that can bring some color, some animation into your life. And I feel like for some of you, this is exactly the point here. Is it where you're afraid to... It's like, where are you afraid to lose? Where are you afraid to... Uh, why you're so afraid of doing something? Is it uh, because I feel like what you have to gain is even if it doesn't end up being you know uh, something very long lasting or something that you know is even uh, is even something you want to take with you. It's just that experience alone, even if it's a brief one, and even if you end up realizing it's not something you want to. Uh, do or be a part of for a long time, just the experience itself is going to trigger, I feel, the need for some of you to go on a different quest, to go on a different way about uh, how you have been in a way. This has to do a lot, I feel that like for some of you, this has to do a lot with lifestyle. Lifestyle changes that put in and bring in more color, you know, more of a vibrant, dynamic energy. For Gemini's, you do have the message of extra miles, so definitely this is a time to push yourself forward, to take that leap, to take, to take that, you know, step forward into doing something that, yes, for some of you, it's, it's something that requires a bravery, a courage, effort even, because it's like a big leap or jump into something that requires strength, emotionally, spiritually, physically even, it's just something that... It's not, let's say, your natural thing, your natural habitat, your natural, you know, flow. But if you're willing to take that extra mile, that extra effort um, to overcome a sense of self-imposed limitation, I feel like you're going to achieve a victory. This has to deal with something you want to conquer. You want to win. But in order to win, you have to, you know... Be bold, be brave, you know, to not be afraid to fall. It's just to take that leap and trust with all the fiber here that you're going to get it. And I feel like some of you, it's about that. It's having fiber, it's having fire, it's having, you know, it's letting your soul command also. being Letting your soul be um, in command more than anything else. Because if you let your mind guide you, I feel like you will be... You know, un, you know, you will not be responsive to um, the opportunity. You will only see the limitation or the challenge. But if you follow more here of the gut and soul and the instinct, you know, you might awake, uh, kind of in a way, awaken to the realization that it's only you, your mind, that is limiting you from what you can do or can't do. For others of you, it could also be that there's just you know, um, a breakthrough that um, you were not expecting that it's happening. Um, I feel like for some of you, this has to deal with, again, your personal power or the power and influence that you actually have to make a difference um, in your life and in the life of others as well. For Libra, you have new life. Um, and for Libras, I do feel like there is indeed an amazing, magnificent, actually, like a new moon energy where this new cycle, this new opportunity is blooming and you're waking up here to the potential that the new brings. I do feel like for some of you, this could be about a new relationship, a new job, a new chance that is going to be, um, it's like something very, um, like an innovation of some sort, something you have never uh, possibly done or felt, I feel like some of you are feeling so different, or you might feel different and don't know really why uh, during this period of time. And I feel like it's, again, the seed that it's growing and now blooming inside out. So for some of you, this has to do a lot with also your, um, your internal self and how is that being reflected on the outside. Some of you have been undergone undergoing a profound change internally and so now that is kind of transpiring to the outside and also to the experiences you're attracting so i also feel like some of you this is in general but for some of you it is indeed the um 
the chance of doing something new. You know, being involved in something new. It could be a new friend, a new relationship, a new job, a new activity that is going to help you upgrade your life. Some of you Libras need to upgrade your life, but um, to have this upgrade, you have to be open to receive the new and to be the new. I feel like some of you could also benefit, you know, a lot from everything new, like brand new. As much as possible, everything brand new. Things that don't, you know, that don't have that quality um, of newness. I feel like they don't, they're they not like a very good match for some of you during this time. Uh, you know, old clothes or, you know, the same type of environments, you know, uh, old things that you have been maybe keeping just for no reason. If you can make some, some sense of like organi organizing here and trying to understand the type of items and things you hold on to and why and if you can donate or give them away i feel like just that those efforts again to remove yourself from the past you know stuck energy can be very promising to help you again uh, feel empowered um for Aquarius, you have Treasure Island, which is another amazing card. I do feel like some of you are actually going to find here something very, very, very prosperous and abundant. This, for some of you, Aquarius, this has to deal with abundance. This has to deal with the opportunity to bring more money, more material uh, wealth to your life. Some of you could be that you receive... Um, a very valuable, um, a very valuable gift. Um, if for, for even for Aquarius, that this is not about you know money itself. It could be again um, a material possession, an item, or it can be a valuable, valuable, valuable advice that someone gives you that again allows you to um, make certain changes that are going to influence. Uh, your material world. For others of you, this is also about you. It's the energy of hitting hitting jackpot, and this can have multiple interpretations. It's just this, the energy of you, you know, doing something uh, that ends up just being, you know, very, very, very rewarding. And I feel like for some of you this week, there's a chance to find a very interesting treasure and bring this treasure to you to your life um some of you this could deal also with influence like the influence of your um of your work of your words you know um they are like it's like the the energy that is showing up here is like aquarius you have the ability to be like a, an alarm an alarm clock of some sort like to awaken, you know, feelings that are very beautiful and precious inside people's hearts. Because for others of you, this also has to deal with your presence and your availability to listen, to love, to advise, to care, to work with others. Uh, that is bringing abundance to you. This, for others of you, that this is the, this is about you know abundance coming. Um, as a natural effect of your openness, right? Your receptivity to be the best version you can be to others and receiving back from that same um, from that same original point of action. And I feel like some of you are going to enjoy what you can find during this time. So I hope I was able to provide some insight. I want to thank all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting to my channel. I really appreciate it, and I wish you all a very good, fortunate week.